Georgia News Now. I'm Charisma Calhoun. Here's what's coming up in local news. Dalton City Council met on Monday. I'll fill you in on what went down. Plus, Blood Assurance is awarding more than $52,000 to area high schools. And Advent Health Murray now offers wound care. Then later in state news, and Grant Harris is here to present our community calendar. But first, here are the obituaries. At First Franklin Financial, we make loans for living, offering personal loans from $600 to $15,000 with fixed rates, flexible terms, and payment plans to fit any budget. And with same-day approvals, you can get your money right away. The next time you need a little financial help, First Franklin Financial is here for you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. My car looks totally ruined. I don't even know what to do. Locally owned Dalton Collision Center is the only choice when it comes to all of your auto body and refinish needs. Our experienced staff provides quality work from start to finish, will help with your claim and even assist with getting your rental car, everything from A to Z. So you can focus on life, we can focus on getting you there. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States with over 5 million cases diagnosed each year, yet it is one of the most preventable? Hi, I'm Courtney Johnston, the physician assistant at Dalton Plastic Surgery. Did you know we offer routine skin checks in our office? Schedule your appointment with us if you have any areas of concern or if you have not had a recent skin exam. At Dalton Plastic Surgery, we offer an array of different services to help you feel and look your very best. Give us a call today. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and I'm here at Paniagua Auto Mall with Francisco Paniagua. And he's going to tell us how we can get ourselves in a good car today. How easy is it? It's very easy. If you got credit, just come see us. If you don't have credit, come, bring two pay stubs, last bank statement, and the rest we can do it here. And there's over 400 vehicles to choose from. So if you're tired of driving around in that clunker, come over here and they'll give you something you'll be proud to ride in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, North Georgia. Gracias, North Georgia. We appreciate you, North Georgia. I'm Seymour. I'm John Moore. Like the Georgia Bulldogs, we're number one. Thank you, North Georgia, for voting us number one six years in a row. If you're hurt and want the best, give us a call. We'll do the rest. Do you have a new home project? Come to West Yellowknife. 
We've been providing doors, windows, flooring, and unfinished cabinets for four decades. We have new, unique, and exclusive items weekly at a price you can afford. Let our friendly staff assist and point you in the right direction. West Yellowknife, conveniently located right off of I-75 at 2226 Chattanooga Road, Dalton, Georgia. Come let us make the job easier and make your dream home complete. Welcome back to your local news. The abandoned high-rise sign for a Super 8 motel and the abandoned signs for a Dairy Queen on Market Street will be coming down, says Charles Oliver reporting on Monday's Dalton City Council meeting for the Daily Citizen News. The council voted 3-0 to zero to approve agreements with the property owner to remove those signs, part of the city's continuing effort to improve the appearance of West Walnut Avenue and the area around it. That area is the entrance to the city from I-75. The agreements say that the owner of the property cannot remove the signs in a timely manner. The agreements give the city easements to enter the properties and demolish or take down the signs. The city will bill the property owner for the cost of the removals. The council members also voted 3-0 to zero to improve an agreement with the KRH Architects of Dalton to design new infields for the baseball and softball fields at Heritage Point Park. The agreement calls for KRH to receive 6% of the cost of the project. In June, the city received a $2.2 .2 million grant from the state for improvements at Heritage Point Park, including the installation of a synthetic turf on all 10 baseball and softball infields. The expected total cost is $2.54 million, which will require a local match of about $337,500. They also voted to approve a $327,723 change order for the Mill Creek Mill line walking and biking trail. Tests have found the soil base is inadequate and the contractor North Georgia Paving wants to add soil cement to strengthen it. The council approved a $12,987 change order for the Mill Creek Mill line to create a manhole inlet and pipeline for an existing stormwater pipe on the side of the trail. The trail will be about 1.1 miles from the Eagle Walk Trail to the trail around Hag Mill Lake Park. There will also be a half mile spur to Mallard Road. The Eagle Walk at Mill Creek a half-mile walking and biking trail just off Chattanooga Avenue that runs parallel to Mill Creek was constructed as an Eagle Scout project about nine years ago. Approval was granted for an easement for Georgia Power to allow it to trim trees near power lines at the city-owned Knob North Golf Course. Georgia Power will pay the city $14,931 for the easement. Council members accepted a donation of 4.9 acres between Fraser Drive and J&J &J Drive from the Humane Society of Northwest Georgia. City Administrator Andrew Parker said the property is undeveloped and could be used by the city as a park, dog park, or as a green space. Parker said the property is low-lying, has stormwater issues. If, the, if developed, the residents could have drainage issues. Approval also approved the corrective act action plan and permanent drainage easement for 1000 East Lakeshore Drive. Parker said there is flooding in the city right-of-way in that area because of the poor condition of a culvert on that road. The corrective action plan calls for replacing about 217 feet of deteriorated pipe. The work will be done by the P City Public Works Department. And finally, the council approved a resolution urging the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to increase enforcement against illegal disposable vaping product products with, quote, kid-friendly flavors. As the 2023-24 school year gets underway, many area high schools will have extra funds thanks to blood assurance. The Community Blood Center announced that through its Heroes Grant Program, 53 high schools in Tennessee, Georgia, and Alabama will share a portion of $52,500, ranging from $500 to $2,000 each. In the Dalton area, the following schools were recognized. Dalton High School, Northwest Georgia Career Academy, and Phoenix High School will receive $500 each, while Southeast Whitfield High School, Cahola Creek High School, and Northwest Whitfield High School will each be getting $1,000. The recipients are schools that held blood drives with the nonprofit during the 2022-23 academic school year. The amount of money a school receives is based on several factors, including how many blood drives it hosted during the year and the number of blood units collected. After receiving the grants, administrators from each school will determine where the money should be allocated. Linda Heisey, Blood Assurance's Community Engagement and Development Administrator, said that Blood Assurance receives approximately 15% of their blood from high school student donations. The Heroes grant program is funded through proceeds from various events that take place throughout the year, such as golf tournaments and benefit concerts. Since its inception in late 2021, the Heroes Grant Program has raised nearly $102,000 for dozens of high schools. Students or staff interested in hosting a blood drive at their school this year should contact Kim Murphy at 423-356-4368 or email her at kimmurphy at bloodassurance.org. 
In other news, Advent Health Murray now offers wound care as a service to patients in and around Murray County, according to a press release. For non-healing and difficult to heal wounds, patients can now seek help at Advent Health Murray for advanced treatments alongside compassionate astronomy management support and, lymph and lymphedema therapies. The Advent Health Murray wound care team uses the latest diagnostic technologies to discover and remove patients' barriers to healing. The team works collaboratively with patients to address wounds related to arterial ulcers, burns, diabetic foot ulcers, infected wounds, lymphatic insufficiencies, parasomal complications, poor circulation and restricted blood flow, surgical wounds, traumatic wounds, venous insufficiency ulcers, and more. The wound care team works to understand the underlying issues of a wound with the following tests ankle brachial index tests to determine sufficient blood flow or if patients need a referral to a vascular expert, wound cultures and tissue biopsies to determine the diagnosis of a hard to heal wounds that don't respond to conventional therapies and imaging and lab work to determine the best treatment plan if needed. Led by fellowship trained physician in hyperbaric medicine and certified in wound care, Jose Gomez, the wound care team guides patients in the best treatments for their needs, which can include skin care guidance and recommending a specific procedure. With the goal of limb salvage in mind, the care team offers a comprehensive approach to make that goal more attainable. Patients seeking wound care can, can contact their primary care physicians or learn more at adventhealthmurray.com slash wound care or by calling 706-879-5760. And when we return, I'll share some state news with you, so please stay with us. Do you have a finicky feline? Here at Dalton Veterinary Practice in Kitty Corner, we have a unique cats only waiting area that'll take some stress off of your trip to the vet. Our office has a completely separate waiting room for both dogs and cats. We are conveniently located on Cleveland Highway. We offer wellness and urgent care appointments for both dogs and cats, Monday and Tuesday, eight to five, and Wednesday through Friday from eight to eight. Call 706-281-4770 to make your appointment today. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks and uh, today we're here to discuss seafood, one of my favorite topics. We're here at the Juicy Seafood, conveniently located on Walnut Avenue in front of Walnut Square Mall. Juicy Seafood started off in Alabama and they have uh, spread all through the south because everybody cannot get enough of their food. They have their own unique seasonings exclusively to them that they make and their food is made to order right there on the spot. They also pride themselves in their friendly staff. So if you're wanting something a little bit different, maybe you're tired of burgers, come try the Juicy Seafood. This is our Dalton, one of the fastest technology-driven gig cities in the country, thanks to OptiLink. We're making things happen with lightning fast internet. With OptiLink and its cutting edge fiber technology, you get unsurpassed bandwidth for the entire family with super fast speeds for all of your devices, keeping you up to date on the latest trends and dance moves. Never missing a moment with family, work from anywhere for a life well lived. Speeds beyond your imagination. Speeds that move your life forward. Go big, get the gig from OptiLink. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments. Start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Hey guys, I'm Shane Franks, and today I'm here with Sarah from Blanca's Furniture. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Well, tell me a little bit about this place. This is Blanca's Furniture and Appliances. Um, we've been here for about 15 years. You've got more than one store too, don't you? We have two, three locations, two in Dalton and one in East Ridge. We do have living room suits, bedroom suits, dining room, all kinds of different appliances to come and choose from. We do offer financing. We have three different companies that you can choose for for financing. Well, there you go, guys. If you want some furniture and you're looking at redoing your house, come to Blanca's Furniture.
Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. Before we get started with state news, I want to introduce you to Sonar, the seriously adorable Humane Society of Northwest Georgia's Pet of the Week. Sonar is a male beagle and lab mix that is four and a half years old. He was born in November 2018. He's a beautiful gold, golden color and weighs 23 pounds. He's a very playful, friendly dog who's great with dogs and children. You make a great family pet. The Humane Society invited you to come visit and see if this sweet pup is a good fit for your family. The Humane Society of Northwest Georgia is open to public on Fridays from 3 to 5 p.m. and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for tours and adoptions. They're also available seven days a week to show pets and facilitate adoptions once you put in an application and have been approved. You can go to hsnwga.org to apply for a dog or a cat or to fill out an online application to volunteer. There are over 100 dogs and about 80 cats, and the Humane Society can certainly use a lot more volunteers to care for them located at 1210 Veterans Drive in Dalton. The Humane Society of Northwest Georgia is a local organization supporting the human companion animal bond. It is only funded by the generosity of donations and adoption fees. Donations can be sent to HSNWGA PO Box 3946 Dalton GA 30719. Before I begin with our first state story, I need to warn you that some of the details may be disturbing and possibly even triggering for some viewers. As originally reported by Louis Cassiano for Fox News Atlanta, a lawsuit has been filed against an Atlanta area hospital after a baby was allegedly decapitated as his mother was giving birth last month. Jessica Ross, age 20, went to the emergency room at the Southern Regional Medical Center in Riverdale on July 9th after her water broke at around 10 a.m., Fox Atlanta reported. At 8.40 p.m., she was fully dilated and began pushing. The baby stopped descending because because of a shoulder dystocia while being delivered vaginally, meaning the baby's shoulders could not fit through the pelvic area, the lawsuit said. Dr. Tracy St. Julian reportedly attempted to deliver the baby vaginally using different methods, including applying traction to the baby's head. During a news conference, Roderick Edmond, one of Ross's attorneys, said that in the process of trying to deliver the baby, a doctor pulled on the neck and head so hard that and manip manipulated them so hard that the bones in the baby's skull, face, and neck were broken. At around 11.50 p.m., St. Julian decided to perform a stat cesarean section. The baby's body and legs were delivered at 12.11 a.m., and the baby's head was delivered vaginally. The lawsuit alleges that St. Julian failed to tell Ross and her family about the decapitation. It also alleges that the hospital discouraged Ross and the baby's father, Trayvon Taylor, from seeking an autopsy, instead telling them to have their son cremated in lieu of taking him to a funeral home. And reported the alleged decapitation was never made to authorities. Corey Lynch, an attorney for Ross, said that during a news conference to announce the lawsuit, the death was flagged by a funeral homes, he said. Lynch said that the hospital did everything in their power to not let the family know what had happened. In addition, St. Julian was also named in the lawsuit, grossly and negligently applied excessive traction on Trayvon Isaiah Taylor Jr.'s neck and head and grossly neg negligently failed to do a cesarean section in a timely and proper manner, resulting in Trayvon Isaiah Taylor Jr.'s decapitation and death, the lawsuit said. The hospital told Fox News Digital that it was unable to discuss the care and treatment of patients, citing the patient privacy laws. In a statement, the hospital said their heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with the family and all those impacted by this tragic event. The statement said their prayers will also remain with the dedicated team of physicians, nurses, and staff at Southern Regional Medical Center who cared for the patient. The statement also said that while their sympathies go out to the family, Southern Regional Medical Center denies the allegations in the complaint referring the hospital. Since this matter is in litigation, the hospital cannot provide additional statements. As far as Dr. St. Julian goes, the hospital said she is not an employee of the hospital. The statement has added that the hospital has taken the appropriate steps in response to this unfortunate situation. The complaint is seeking unspecified damages for the full value of the baby's life, including loss of earnings and loss of enjoyment of life. In other state news, a Georgia man who murdered a high school homecoming queen and shot an army soldier on leave for Veterans Day weekend was sentenced to life in prison on Monday. According to reports by Louis Cassiano of Fox News Atlanta, a DeKalb County jury returned guilty verdicts against Nakia Dorsey, age 24, on charges of felony murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and two counts of aggravated assault. Dorsey was sentenced shortly after the verdict. The charges stemmed from a November 10, 2022 shooting outside the home of 17 year old Jane Salazar Chavez. Brandon Wilson, age 24, made a surprise visit to the home of Salazar Chavez, his girlfriend. Wilson was serving in the Army and was visiting her on, a, on the holiday weekend. He asked Salazar Chavez to come outside with him and noticed that she seemed to be withdrawn. 
He then asked her if she was seeing someone else and demanded to see her cell phone, prosecutors said. Wilson confronted her about a text message on her phone and called the unidentified number. The person on the other line and ended the call without saying anything. A short time later, the person identified as Dorsey called Sal Salazar Chavez on her phone and argued with Wilson about which, which of them was dating the teen. Wilson and Salazar Chavez left her house after the argument and returned later that night around 11 p.m. Wilson told investigators that he saw a red label laser on his face and noticed a man wearing a wearing black clothing pointing a gun at his car. The man opened fire, striking the car more than 20 times. Wilson drove away and was shot in the leg. Salazar Chavez, a homecoming queen and member of her school's Air Force JROTC program, Fox Atlanta reported, was hit in the arm and torso. She died a short time later. Social media messages confirmed that Dorsey was the person talking to Sal Salazar Chavez and, and the cell phone location data placed him near her home just before the shooting authorities said. He was arrested in January. And when we return, Grant Harris is here to share the WDNN community calendar. But first, here's your weather. At First Franklin Financial, we make loans for living, offering personal loans from $600 to $15,000 with fixed rates, flexible terms, and payment plans to fit any budget. And with same-day approvals, you can get your money right away. The next time you need a little financial help, First Franklin Financial is here for you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. My car looks totally ruined. I don't even know what to do. Locally owned Dalton Collision Center is the only choice when it comes to all of your auto body and refinish needs. Our experienced staff provides quality work from start to finish, will help with your claim, and even assist with getting your rental car. Everything from A to Z. So you can focus on life, we can focus on getting you there. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States with over 5 million cases diagnosed each year, yet it is one of the most preventable? Hi, I'm Courtney Johnston, the physician assistant at Dalton Plastic Surgery. Did you know we offer routine skin checks in our office? Schedule your appointment with us if you have any areas of concern or if you have not had a recent skin exam. At Dalton Plastic Surgery, we offer an array of different services to help you feel and look your very best. Give us a call today. Hey there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The one whose stomach issues make it a little tricky to leave home. No matter how prepared you are. The one who's interrupted day in and day out. And the one who's been holding in their pain for far too long. If this is your normal, something more serious could be going on. Unpredictable stomach issues, joint pain, and even weight loss can all be signs of Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation is the largest nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting people like you and helping you find a specialist. Don't keep your symptoms to yourself. Reach out to the foundation and get the help you need at spillyourguts.org. Thank you. Thank you, North Georgia. Gracias, North Georgia. We appreciate you, North Georgia. I'm Seymour. I'm John Moore. Like the Georgia Bulldogs, we're number one. Thank you, North Georgia, for voting us number one six years in a row. If you're hurt and want the best, give us a call. We'll do the rest. Welcome back to North Georgia News Now. I'm Grant Harris, and here are some of the things going on around the area. Mountain Creek Harley-Davidson in Dalton invites everyone out for a delicious and fun-filled morning at Pan America and Pancakes. This exciting event will take place on Saturday, August 12th at 9.30 a.m. at 1002 Market Street. So mark your calendars and bring your family and friends along for a delightful morning of food, fun, and worship. 
Artistic Civic Theater in Dalton presents Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Now through the 12th, this tale follows the journey of a dreamer. Joseph is the son of Jacob and one of the 12 brothers. He is given a coat of many colors by his father, which is symbolic of his favor and an object of his brother's jealousy. Tickets are now on sale. For more information, visit actdalton.org. What's Cooking in Spring Place is the theme for the 26th annual festival at the Old Spring Place Methodist Church, a used book sale, breakfast biscuits, a bake sale, an indoor flea market, a cooking raffle, and other activities will begin at 8 a.m. on August 19th. Highlighting the day is an auction including artist prints, collectibles, and historical memorabilia. Furniture, rugs, antiques, and gift cards donated by the area businesses. The outdoor auction begins at 10 a.m. The festival is co-sponsored by the Spring Place Ruritan Club. Pictures and artifacts relating to cooks, cooking, kitchens, and recipes from the community will be featured in a special display. Proceeds will go to the Church Preservation Fund at the Whitfield Murray Historical Society. For more information, call 706-695-2740 or 706-264-3968. The Murray County High School class of 1973 has announced their 50th year class reunion to be held Saturday, August 26th at the Grand View at Fort Mountain in Chatsworth. All class members are encouraged to attend this golden class reunion marking 50 years since they received their diplomas. A sit-down meal program and entertainment is included, along with several special guests, including former teachers, coaches, and administrators who have been invited to share the evening with those attending. Class officers and, and organizers excuse me, promises a great evening for all celebrating half a century since graduation. But once an Indian, always an Indian. Reservations along with your contact information should be submitted by August 12th. Cost for the evening is $35 per person and can be submitted by mail to MCHS Class of 1973, 1308 Leonard Bridge Road, Chatsworth, Georgia, 30705 or Venmo to at Vicky-Sales-1. For more information, call 706-517-0047 and leave a message. You will get a call back. The Creative Arts Guild, located at 520 West Wall Street, will hold its 60th annual, annual festival preview, Party and Taste of Dalton, on Friday, September 15th at 7 p.m. The event kicks off festival weekend with live music, cold drinks, artwork, and food. Enjoy delicious samples from some of your favorite local restaurants and be one of the first to view and purchase from the indoor patron exhibit. You also decide on the winner of the converted, coveted, excuse me, People's Choice Awards, so be sure to grab a purple dot and put your dot next to your favorite piece. Tickets are $55 and will go on sale in late summer. CAG's festival will take place on Saturday, September 16th and Sunday, September 17th. This event includes an indoor patron exhibit, the outdoor market, live performance, and Children Hills and self-guided tour of Robert T. Webb's Sculpture Gardens. Hours are 10 to 5 on Saturday and 11 to 5 on Sunday. Admission is free. For more information, visit www.creativeartsguild.org, the Guild's Facebook page, or call 706-278-0168. If you'd like to submit information on your events for North Georgia News Is Now community calendar, send an email to events at wdnntv.com. That's it for this edition of North Georgia News Now. Be sure to visit us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Thanks for watching local. Did you know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States with over 5 million cases diagnosed each year, yet it is one of the most preventable. Hi, I'm Courtney Johnston, the physician assistant at Dalton Plastic Surgery. Did you know we offer routine skin checks in our office? Schedule your appointment with us if you have any areas of concern or if you have not had a recent skin exam. At Dalton Plastic Surgery, we offer an array of different services to help you feel and look your very best. Give us a call today. Do you have a new home project? Come to West Yellow Knife. We've been providing doors, windows, flooring, and unfinished cabinets for four decades. We have new, unique, and exclusive items weekly at a price you can afford. Let our friendly staff assist and point you in the right direction. 
West Yellowknife, conveniently located right off of I-75 at 2226 Chattanooga Road, Dalton, Georgia. Come let us make the job easier and make your dream home complete. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments. Start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make.